bright white thing on the end of that tree? Is it a bird? It is indeed. It is a fiscal. There you are, everybody. There's a fiscal. Shrike. A.K.A. Jackie Hangman. And you can just hear how quiet it is today. And all of the sound just about coming out of the woodland here. Fringing this drainage line. Tony, you want to know if we're ever going to be doing Mara walks? I really hope one day that we will. At the moment, no. But the areas around our camp and onto the slopes of the escarpment would just be fantastic, you know. And this morning, Tony, we saw birds, we saw elephants, we saw impala, baboons, we've seen waterbuck, we've seen buffalo, we've seen hippo, we've seen all sorts of interesting things in the escarpment or in the forests of the escarpment, which are just up here, of course. And I think it would be beautiful to do a walk in there. And I hope one day that we will. At the moment, there are no walks conducted in the public area of the Masai Mara. Up north, in some of the conservancies, you can do walks. And so I'm hoping that as our uh, relationship builds with the Mara Triangle and with the Masai Mara at large, we will be able to do things like walks. I think it would be such fun. Here are a few cysticulars sitting on the edge of these little bushes here. Look at that. Nita, you are just eight years old and you say, have I seen an animal that I did not expect to see here in the Mara? I don't think so, Mita. I mean, I did my studying up before I came here, so I pretty much knew what was going to be here. But there are lots and lots of animals that I hadn't seen before. And the first one that comes to mind is the topi. The topi, a lovely antelope here, my favourite one. And I had never seen one before, so there are lots that I hadn't seen before, but that I did expect and hoped to see here. <laughs> 